Yeah, YouTube. This is just a bit of a comparison between Fedora 34 on the left and Fedora 35 on the right, currently in beta release. So expect it to, to come out there shortly, but just a bit of a comparison of the basics here. So first of all, having a look at the two, they do actually look a little bit similar from the, the graphical user interface perspective, apart from the wallpaper that is of course, but we've got the activities menu on the left, a few bits about the settings and whatnot there on the right. But uh, this is actually the, uh, the GNOME uh, desktop environment and you can see on the left for the Fedora 34 that it's running the, the, the GNOME version 40, whereas on the right hand side we've got GNOME 41. Now the RC just stands for Release Candidate 1, so nothing to really worry about there when it comes to the, uh, the, the beta release. Uh, if we have a little bit further, let's uh, have a little bit of a look further. We'll uh, have a look at the, the file managers. Now the, uh, the file manager in question here, it's actually called GNOME Files or just Files, really synonymous with the, the, the GNOME desktop environment. So nothing really too exciting to write home about here, but uh, it is what it is, simple yet functional. If we were to look a little bit further under the hood, we can see that uh, the current release of Fedora 34 has the 5.13 kernel, whereas on the uh, other side of the, the fence, Fedora 35 beta release has the 5.14 kernel. So a little bit um, later and greater, if you will. So just better for later hardware, CPUs, uh, GPUs, all sorts of things there. It does all depend though. Uh, now Fedora is really on the bleeding edge uh, of things, so it is actually what's considered the upstream for the, the Red Hat Enterprise Linux, so almost like a test, be a test bed, but I don't really want to say that because it is a, an operating system unto itself. Very quite a cool one, in fact I uh, first started on Fedora many many years ago when I uh, started my Linux journeys. If we just uh, jump across to a little bit and maybe even have a look at the, the RAM usage, so it's not quite optimized that well yet, Fedora 35, the beta release, it's running at well over a gigabyte of data on, on boot up straight off the bat there, whereas Fedora 34, current release, uh, is uh, yeah well under a gigabyte I would say for sure. But uh, the reason why you might want to use Fedora is just to have a, a Linux based operating system where you're, uh, you know, you're doing doing emails, doing web browsing, nothing too crazy, a few games maybe here and there, but not too many. Uh, but that's pretty much it guys, just a really super simple, quick, fun video, uh, just comparing the basics between the current release of Fedora on the left and the upcoming release of Fedora 35 beta on the right. Thanks again guys, I uh, hope to see you all in the next one. Cheers.